that we have in our bedroom. Just like many of you, you have kids who are either rough on things, our kids decided it'd be a great idea to hide behind one of our curtains, and snapped off the very top portion of this IKEA sliding curtain product that we, we got a few years back. And because of the fragile parts, we did what most of you would do is try to find a replacement part either through IKEA or just even looking online. Of course, now the part is discontinued, and so we had the fun of trying to find a creative way to buy the plastic part that was broken from. So we began the search to find the replacement uh, plastic part that broke on these IKEA curtains. Obviously, we didn't want to spend $30 just for the replacement part on eBay for those who knew it was discontinued and wanted to sell those. We just wanted that little plastic part at an affordable price. So I looked online and found that you could actually download a 3D file of just the part that had broken actually for free. I'll put some of the links or the links that you can find some of these 3D uh, plastic, uh, plastic part files um, in our description in the video. But even better than that, my wife came across the idea of actually ordering the 3D printing through our local library. They had recently purchased a nice commercial grade uh, 3D printer and with our great tax dollars at work you can actually go to the library order an individual or, or even two 3D printed items through the library and have it have it completed within several weeks. So we went ahead and did that. We're trying it out here today for the first time. So let's see how good this 3D printed part straight from our local library actually turned out completely free. Check it out. Let's see if this works.